A turning point for Rhode Island's education system, the U.S. Department of Education will be announcing the Race to the Top winners. And Rhode Island stands to gain more than $100 million to improve schools across the state. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North is covering schools this morning. Rhode Island is one of 16 finalists for the Race to the Top Phase 1 funding. The state has applied for more than $126 million over four years to implement a strategic plan called Transforming Education in Rhode Island. We are excited to find out the results of the round one of Race to the Top, and we're hoping to hear good news. Commissioner of Education Deborah Giss isn't the only one hoping for this good news, with schools like Central Falls making negative headlines for student performance and for the recent firing of every high school teacher on the payroll. It would help all of our schools, including Central Falls. Um, it would help us to um, put an infrastructure in place to give better information to parents and to teachers about how students are doing. It will allow us to give extensive professional development to our school leaders to, and to our teachers and um, to put in world-class standards and, and assessments. The U.S. Department of Education has not said how many finalists will receive the federal funding in Phase 1, but all states are eligible to reapply for Phase 2 funding by June 1st. But the state's education leaders are keeping their fingers crossed that Rhode Island will be one of the states chosen now to race to the top. This would be a significant investment in our efforts to move from the system we have today to the one we all envision. And what we want is for Rhode Island schools to be the best in the country and the envy of the world. Now the winners are going to be announced at a news conference early Monday afternoon, but Gist tells us the last time Rhode Island was chosen as a finalist, people were already twittering about the results before the announcement was made, so we'll keep you posted. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.